In this episode of The Russell Brown Show, I'm going to demonstrate a really simple and classic technique for replacing a blown out sky. And I'm going to do it here on the Apple iPad 2 using Adobe Photoshop Touch. OK, I have this background image here that I photographed in Iceland. And I have these Iceland clouds that I like. But the sky is a little bit burnt out in this image. So let's get right into this. Let's turn on my second layer and target it here in Photoshop Touch. Then I'm going to go right over here, click on this icon, and I'm going to change my blend mode. I'm going to select Overlay right here. That gives me this semi-transparency you can see here. Then if I tap over here on the original image, I can make that dialog disappear. And now I want to transform this. With this opacity, I can clearly see the relationship and the perspective of these clouds compared to my background. So now I'm going to go up to my Transformation tool here at the top. Now check this out. Down here at the base, I can lock or unlock the aspect ratio with this icon right here. With this locked, it maintains the aspect ratio of my background image. But I want to unlock it so that I can scale this non-proportionally to give a little bit of perspective to those clouds just like that. That looks great. Now I click Done. We have a bit of a problem here. Some of the foreground is still visible. I could go in with my Eraser tool and erase that. But there's nothing better than this tool under the More menu called Add Fade. It's like a mask that you can put on here. Now I set this one up earlier, but you can see how quickly it, it just applies the mask. Notice if I drop this point down, I reveal this area that I didn't want. But if you move this up within the region of your photo, it then disappears just like that. I really love the way that this slowly balances and blends the original sky with your new sky so that the edge right here along the horizon doesn't look fake or too abrupt. And that's what this blending does. I can use one of the default masks here or blend settings, or I can create one of my own. Let's go ahead and select Done. And there it is. It should be that simple and that quick putting an image in, setting its blend mode, and then applying this blend to hide the image into the background. No masking necessary. Give it a try.